SolidCamp 2008 has introduced a new option within the HSM modular called Helical Cutting. This will allow you to cut any surface going down in a helical motion. Let's take a look at how this works. If we would start our operation and go into HSM, you can see we have a new option here called Helical. I'll be using a 10 millimeter end mill with a 1 millimeter radius on the corner. And my constraint boundaries will be created automatically. Let's go to my passes field now. My upper field will be over here. And my Z bottom will be only up until this floor. In other words, all I want to do is machine this area over here. Now, in my step down area, I'll make it one millimeter. In other words, I want it to go down one millimeter every single time it makes a turn. And my maximum ramp ramp angle, let's leave it at five uh, degrees, as you can see here in the picture. If I were to do now save and calculate, and then run my simulation, you'll note that my tool is going down in a helical, helical fashion all the way down till it hits the very bottom of the surface over here. Doing a, an even cut all the way down, entering the, tool, the part once, and at the end it'll leave the, tool, it'll, it'll leave the part with one swift move as you can see over here. Now we've added another option in our HSM field allowing us to choose a selected face as a boundary. Let's take a look at how this works. If I have to choose a new operation and again I'll use my helical machining and my tool of 10 millimeters this time I'd like to go into my constraint boundaries and choose selected faces. What this will allow me to do is simply choose a dry face and it will work only on the face that I've chosen. Before this was rather difficult to do I would have to make uh, sketches around ex exceeding the part in order just to work on these particular walls. All I have to do now is simply select the face and I can work on those walls. In my passes area, my Z top this time will be this particular surface over there and my Z bottom over here. Again I'll use, this time I'll even use a bigger step down. Let's say I'll even use a three millimeter step down maximum wrap angle of 5 and save and calculate. Now if I were to look at my simulation you'll note that the tool is working only on the surface that I selected. Something which was rather difficult to do before but this is very easily done now with the new option of selected faces in the boundary area.